everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Cherie I live in Hawaii and today we're doing our usual savings challenge Sunday right now Alec and I are doing two different challenges so we have our 100 envelope challenge that we are dedicating specifically to our Disneyland trip next year and then also we're gonna be doing the summer savings challenge created by budget with friends super excited not only are we going to do that but we're also going to do a weekly check-in usually i do a bi-weekly but i base it off of my paychecks because i get paid on a bi-weekly basis but um, for this pay period um of course the first was a thursday and i like to end my check-ins on thursdays so we're um, checking in from July 1st to July 8th. So I hope you guys are super excited. Let's go ahead and dig in to the 100 envelope challenge. So today we are going to try and at least stuff two envelopes. And this thing is not as packed as it was before. It was. It's, it's not. It's definitely not opening up like a can of biscuits. So that's the good part. Um, so let's go ahead and pick our envelopes. So we have $93. I tell you, we are, oh, we only have one 90, well, 90-ish dollar uh, range. So $93. And then let's pick one more. Let's pick from over here. $14. So we're going to stop while we're ahead. So two envelopes is what we're going to work with. And let's get our money. Um, so... We're going to need 14 and 93. So I'm gonna take it from our payback envelope because I put some cash in there. And let's get our monies together. So of course, I'm gonna need $4 for this one. And then I'm going to need $3 for this one. And then I need a, do I have a $10 bill? Oh my gosh, I do not have a $10 bill. I'm gonna have to make change. Oh, oh, okay, well, I'll be right back, okay? We're back and we're ready to roll. So I made some change from our sinking funds envelopes. So we have $14 on this side, enough for this envelope. And then we're going to need 93 for this one, so. Let us get $93 or $90. So 20, 40, 60, 80. And then we need a $10 bill. Yes. Okay. So that in total is we're, well, we're only saving 107, but super exciting. My goal is to knock out all the larger bills or larger envelopes so it's not as painful sometimes it's painful when I pull those high envelope numbers but we're doing this for our purpose and it's very fun uh, let me just count this 20 40 60 80 90 91 92 93 we're making up progress so so far this month for july we've stuffed three different envelopes so now we have to color in the boxes i probably shouldn't use pink but this one is like a fluorescent pink yeah we're gonna use it because i'm too lazy to get, go get the other highlighters I hope we can do this by when we scheduled our vacation. We'll see. We'll see. And right now, it's a little bit easier for us to do this. I mean, we are still saving money for our home that we're supposed to be moving into um, in a couple months. Um, but we'll see what happens after that. I, I think I have a good plan for us. So super excited about that. Let's go ahead and put this on the side and tuck these puppies away. 
very excited. If you guys wanted to get your hands on the 100 envelope challenge template that I use, um, I do have it available on my Etsy. It's a digital download. So super cute and you'll just download it and it's yours to use, of course. Print it at home or you can import it into GoodNotes if you do uh, digital budgeting, whatever works for you folks. Um, the next challenge is a quite easy and straightforward challenge and that is the $300 Summer Savings Challenge. It is a hot mess over here. Oh goodness. Where's the pen? I can't find the pen. Oh, here it is. Okay. So we are, we're a week off, but I am on week five. We are going to be putting in $40. So let's put this in. Yeah. So two $20 bills. That means we should have 180, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. What are you guys, are you guys doing this saving challenge? If so, what are you folks going to use it for? I don't have kids, so it's not like we're going to take this money and go do something fun with kids because we don't have any, of course. But let me know in the comments down below what you folks are doing. And lastly, this brings us to our check-in from July 1st to the 8th. Let me move the candle back. Be very careful. Um, so it's pretty bare and I'm really happy. I didn't put anything here yet because I didn't want to spoil it for the next time around. Um, but we have in total from the 1st to the 8th, we have one, two, three, four no spend days. Of course, on a Thursday, I bought Alec his knee pads that came from his sinking fund work envelope. I had to buy lunch, which was only $5. And then uh, these purple ones, they are fixed expenses. So they're just something for my calendar. Uh, so Friday was a good no spend day. On Saturday, we went to Cheesecake Factory and we spent $30 from our UNME uh, variable expense insert. Uh, my uncle, cousin, and um, his wife, they gave us a $50 Cheesecake Factory gift card. So we kind of went buck wild. If you watch last weekend's vlog, um, you'll see what we ate. It was super delicious. And um, we had to pay $30 more because, of course, tip. And we got those Kahlua pig nachos. Super yummy. Um, on the 4th, we went out with my parents. Um, but my mom paid for that because that was supposed to be my, like, birthday dinner. Yeah, we had a lot of those dinners. <laughs> but um, on Sunday, literally, I only spent money at Cow Cow Tea. It was, like, $7. That's it. And then Alex Crunchy Roll came out. On Monday the 5th, although there's a fixed expense, I do not count that as like part of the no spend days because it's already planned. That's when the money's going to come out. That's when we're going to account for that. So it's a no spend that I consider. On the 6th, I bought a lunch from the little store that was $6. On the 7th, it was another no spend day, but Hawaiian Telecom came out of the account and then on the 8th, it was a no spend day. So yay, I'm super happy that we at least got four no spend days from the 1st to the 8th. Um, and I'm going to start filling in, you know, as the days come, we're going to start doing that. I'll probably start filling in the Saturday um, information as soon as I'm done filming this video. But it's not supposed to be in this video at all. So let me know if you guys are doing weekly check-ins, how you folks are doing. I do have like a page dedicated to weekly check-ins. Um, but I need to figure out if I want to do it as a like uh, broad category, like fixed and variable expenses, sinking funds, or if I want to be nitty gritty and kind of break everything down. So like for food, fun, you and me, that kind of stuff. But I think that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video so other people can watch this content as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, night, evening, weekend. Whenever you're watching, take care. Bye, guys. <music>